And with that, we welcome you to Millette Hall on the campus of Miami University for a Tuesday night matchup in college basketball. Two local rivals on the men's side of things going at it tonight from Oxford and the Miami Red Hawks in the Northern Kentucky Norse. Alongside Josiah Collins and Mike Gustelis, my name is Patrick Geshin. Boys, we're going to have a good one tonight here at Millette Hall. Two teams going at it. It should be a pretty good crowd with Northern Kentucky just an hour away traveling their fans pretty well. Mike, we'll start with you. What are you looking at from the Red Hawks tonight? Well, the Red Hawks through uh, their first eight games have yet to find a primary playmaker on the offensive, bo on the offensive end. Uh, currently, their leading playmaker is Makai Larry. He comes off the bench. He's averaging 3.6 assists a game. But, you know, I was really looking for Day-Day Grant, especially being such a highly touted freshman, the way he scores the basketball to come in and kind of set the table for the amount of weapons that Miami has. And that quite, hasn't quite happened yet. And Josiah, obviously, the Red Hawks coming off the Gulf Coast Showcase last week, the tournament at Fort Myers. They played three games in that and what did you see out of the Red Hawks after they went one and two in that tournament? Yeah like you said they went one and two the first game they played very well against Drake but then the next two they just kind of fell apart a little bit it was very hard for them to find a rhythm uh, shooting wise they struggled a little bit from the three-point line and then also as Mike brought up the assist game was very bad they only had four assists in one game and then the next game they had about five so that's just something they have to improve on coming into this game. All right, these two teams have only met two times before. Northern Kentucky's won both of those meetings. We'll talk about that in a little bit later, but first our national anthem and starting lineups from Millette Hall, then our tip-off. Thank you. 
your starting lineups in National Anthem from tonight's game. Patrick Eschen, Mike Gus, Lisa, Josiah Collins with you here. And before the tip, boys, what are some keys to the game you want to see out of Miami tonight? Well, you saw him put the, a switch from Day Day Grant. He's not in the starting lineup anymore. Makai Larry, like I brought up, uh, their primary playmaker, he's going to start at point tonight. So let's see if that sort of makes the juices flow a little bit better on offense and see if they can get the ball into Sabandis and Brown's hands to really get the offense flowing. I'm really looking forward to pace. I want them to get out into space, into transition, get a rebound, and get the ball right out right away, get the ball into transition, and then hopefully Mikhail Larry can use some of that playmaking ability that he's shown to get some other things going. And Day-Day Grant can watch up on the bench and then do that when he comes in. All right, Northern Kentucky starters are Adhiki, Langdon, Faulkner, Sharp, and Walton. For Miami, it's Sabandi, Larry, Brown, Bowman, and Milos Jovic. Mentioned earlier, these two teams have only met twice before. Norris leading the all-time series 2-0 the last game was December 16th of last year at Northern Kentucky. The Norths winning that 72 to 66. Nike Savannah had 13 points in that game. Delonte Brown had 12. The earlier meeting between these two teams was here at Millette. It was November 20th, 2016, a 79-70 win for the Norths. Norths are in their away dark jerseys. They're black with yellow lettering and yellow trim. Miami in their home whites with red lettering and a red, or, yeah, red trim. As the crowd here at Millette pretty light tonight for this game between local rivals. The fans standing right now, dressed in red, waiting for the first Red Hawks score of the game. As we are waiting for the tip off here. Our television broadcast says it's okay to start and the tip off at half court is going to be Silas Adhiki for Northern Kentucky. He'll square off with Delonte Brown, the Red Hawks center, number 13 in white. And NKU wins the opening tip back. It's number five, Bryson Langdon, who will take it across the timeline to the right wing. Pass to the far side. They still have it outside the arc. Controlled by Dantes Walton. Gets it top of the key for Bryson Langdon. Bounce pass to the far side. Still outside the arc. The Norse have it. It's number 15, Tyler Sharp, with 10 to shoot now for NKU. Back to the right wing. Jared Trevon Faulkner got to the free throw line. He traveled. Try to go around the defender. That was number one, Nike Sabandi, and a turnover on drive number one for NKU. It's the Rex here with an inbound. They'll take it across the timeline, middle of the floor, Makai Larry. Dish to the far side for Sabandi on the right wing. Delonte Brown takes it top, the key to the right wing outside the arc. Back up top for Milos Jovic to the left wing now, still outside Sabandi. Back to the top of the key. Red Hawks here moving right to left across your radio in the first half. Mikai Larry, left wing three. Here's Brown. It is good. Got Rux. Brown right in rhythm that time. Wide open for a three. Rux are 50th in the nation in three point shooting. That's one of the early strengths of this team in this season so far. And they're at lead at 3 0 a minute into the first half. Top of the key, it's Trevon Faulkner to the right wing in the corner. Coming in on the hoop is Waltz in the drive. Then he passes it to the other side of the floor. A three attempt is short. Coming in from Tyler Sharp. And then a rebound put back good under the hoop by Silas Zadhiki. Ducks across the floor, a 3-2 lead for Miami. Milos Jovic, right wing, top of the key. Here's Savanti. Pass to the far side, Delonte Brown. Takes it back. Now right wing, it is Jovic. Enters inside the arcs, takes a step back. Top of the key, Larry. Left wing, Brown. Thinking about a three, and then he does, gets it off. Is falling back. There was Delonte Brown. The three shot was no good, but he might have three free throws here at the line as they call it a foul. And it will be the first team foul against NKU in the game, and... Heading to the free throw line, Delonte Brown. That's the matchup that you're going to want to watch all night long is Delonte Brown for Miami and Dantes Walton for NKU. I believe Brown is only going to shoot two. I supposedly he was inside the arc when firing that shot off. And free throw number one is good for number 13 in white. The 6'7", 200 junior guard of Toledo, Ohio. Had 37 points in the three Gulf Coast Showcase games last week, including nine in the game against Wright State on Wednesday. The Red Hawks losing that. In the Gulf Coast Showcase finale, and he is in fact going to get three free throws. Brown makes the second and sets up for the next one, coming in a 77.4% free throw shooter. Third free throw, takes a few dribbles around the rim, and it's good, and the Red Hawks lead at 6-2. to two. Full court press on here. As NKU takes it up the left wing, here's Bryson Langdon across the timeline. Dish in the middle for Adhiki, takes it down the right wing in the paint. They get it back outside the arc, left wing trying to three Langdon. Stepped in there, trying to go for a step back jumper on Larry, but it was no good, he traveled. Miami playing really tight defense right now, that's exactly what you want them to do to come out and set the tone early on. 
Rex with a fast start, but can they keep it up? And consistency has been a bit of an issue here so far in the early going for the Red Hawks. Yeah, consistency the is the main thing with any winning team. You need to be able to be consistent and play for 44 minutes for a game. Jovic on the far side for the Red Hawks. Dished up top of the key for Makai Larry. And we'll take it back to the left wing. Larry, a little pass. Hand off to Nike Sabani. Returns to Larry, left wing outside the arc. Dribbles up top of the key. Now on the right side, inside the paint. Dish back for Brown. Top of the key, thinking about a three. Nice spin move in the paint. If ball flew up in the air, was caught by the Red Hawks. That was Bam Bowman with the grab. And Bam Bowman was dribbling the ball back to the near side. Red Hawks lost track of the shot clock, and so did I. And they run out of time with 17.45 to go in the first. And then turn the ball over here to NKU with 17.45 to go in the first half. Ball was sticking too much on that possession. You have to pass the ball when you're facing Gazelle. That's the right wing, comes NKU, Bryson Langdon back top of the key, Silas Adhiki on the left wing. Inside the free throw line, they dish it back to the far side, coming in was Dantes Walton. Back to the near wing, Bryson Langdon, top of the key, Walton, pass to the far side, faking it there was Tyler Sharp, got a shot off the glass, no good, Red Hawks corral and collect the rebound. Over the timeline, feet up ahead for Brown and the two-handed slam! Makai Larry with an assist there, he passed it up to Delate Brown trailing down the right wing in the paint. A two-handed jam, and it's 8-2 Red Hawks with 17-17 to go in the first. That was excellent court vision. That was a great way to run the floor. You had you had Sabandi on the near side, you had Brown streaking down the middle, and Larry know, knew just what to do with it. Red Hawks with a 5-0 run here in the last minute and 31. We get our first time out of the game called by the Norse. 17-17 to go in the first, 8-2 Red Hawk lead on Red Hawk Radio. to Miami here in the early going. Patrick Geshin, Mike Gustelis, and Josiah Collins with you here from Alette Hall this evening. Thanks for tuning in on a Tuesday night. NKU trying to respond down by six here in the early going. They got the ball on the right wing offensive end of the floor. Tyler Sharp pass to the far side to give and go with that Hickey. Now Sharp down the left wing in the paint. Spinning around Jovic with good defense. Too tall for him. Now a three from the near side is good. They got it out to Dantes Walton. And the man who's 38.5% from outside the arc this year delivers to make it an 8-5 Miami lead. Delante Brown, 8. Walton, 5. Uh, now a 3 on the left wing now for the Red Hawks. Jovic from the corner, missed it too hard. Rebound to Ed KU. It was that Hickey who passed to the left wing, and over the timeline comes Langdon. It's the breaks behind the arc as Makai Larry reached him. Now Bam Bowman way outside from his position under the hoop. Defending Langdon from outside the arc. Gets the ball back top of the key. Drive down the right wing. Spins back for a pass. Picked up by Brown. Fast break the other way. Brown a bounce pass to the left side. It went off the knee of Milos Jovic, the intended target. Now a tie up at the free throw line. The Miami offensive end of the floor. A jump ball whistled and the possession in favor of Miami. 16-17 to go here in half number one. Miami leads it by a score of eight to five. Mikhail Larry here and inbound for the baseline, far side of the floor, Red Hawks offensive end. Dish to the left wing, it's Sabani coming out of the paint with a ball, back outside the arc, dish to the near side, Jovic stepped out of bounds, and seeing got a pass on the left wing, and stepping back for a potential three-point shot, his foot hit the out-of-bounds line. Still a three-point lead for NKU, 16-10 to go here in the first. Larry picking up full court again. As Langdon across the line, Larry defending him. Langdon now finds a break, drives middle of the paint, gets it up, but a nice oh, block there by Delate Brown. Over the line, Milos Jovic picked up the loose ball. He's down on the right wing. Hands it off here for Nike Savani. Finds space for a three. Too hard. Rebound at KU. Both people fighting for it there. That was Langdon and Nelson in there. Now on the right wing, Ed Heat. A long three is good. He was wide open, and it's a tie game at eight. Good use of transition by NKU that time. They tie the game back up. Now Miami has to respond. Red Hawks made it too easy there from outside the arc. Across the line, Larry dished to the right wing. And it's Sabandi, who is patient and takes it back top of the key. Now left wing, Larry trails down the sideline. Steps back, top of the key, drives right paint. Pull up jumper, free throw line. It's good for Makai Larry. 10-8, Red Hawks on top again. 
NKU over the timeline, left wing. It's Bryson Langdon. It's the brakes on Larry as he got over the line. Now a dish to the right side. It is Adhita back up top here for Langdon. Far side feed for Dantes Walton. Now it's Sharp. Gets it to the far corner. Walton trying to charge in from there, but a whistle against him for a travel. And with 14.55 to go in the first half, Miami holding a 10-8 lead over the Norse of Northern Kentucky. We'll be back in a moment. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Back here in the lead hall, Patrick Eschen, Mike Gusselis, Josiah Collins, 10-8, the Red Hawks lead at 14.55 to go in the first half. And boys, what are you noticing so far in this one? Well, so far on the offensive side of the ball for Miami, NKU, they're running a 2-3 zone, trying to force pressure up on Miami. They're playing it a little bit higher. But Miami's offense, they're playing it like it's a man. They're setting screens a lot at the top, but it's not really moving the defense out of position. For them, they want to move the ball, really make cuts, smart cuts, hard cuts, and just continue moving the ball. That's how you break down a zone. That's how you get people out of position. All right, so the Red Hawks here are holding with the North so far, but like we mentioned, consistency has been somewhat of a factor in games so far this year, so we'll see if the Red Hawks are able to keep that up. Pass from the far side, an inbound here for the Red Hawks zone, and they'll take it across the timeline. It is Day Day Grant fresh in the game for the Red Hawks after the timeout. And we get a whistle here for a violation against Miami. It's an offensive foul on Milos Jovic, who's on the near side of the floor, completely away from the ball. And that will be the second team foul against Miami. So NKU with an inbound here, down two. Over the left wing, Bryson Langdon gets across the timeline just in time, now takes it right side. Pass top of the key, Adam Ahita, pass to the left wing, in the paint, moving in for a nice charge and a shot no good was Walton. Offensive rebound though for him, dish out to the right wing. Three pointer no good from Sharp, it was too hard. They did grant the rebound for Miami. Over the timeline here, dishes left wing. Sabani had time for a three, steps into the paint. Now dishes down low, working there. Precious Aya under the hoop and a jump ball here. He was going one against two. Northern Kentucky had two players under the hoop. The possession arrow in favor of the Norse and the jump ball call. And they'll get it here with 14-16 to go in the first. That's the big man for Miami. He's got to keep the ball high. Don't bring the ball down and dribble. He had the drop step. Just go right up for the hook right away. Bryson Langdon takes it across the timeline, right wing for NKU. He's matched up with Day Day Grant. Dish to the top of the key. Faulkner to the left wing now for Adhita. Waiting there on Precious Aya, down to the far corner, and then back up top outside the arc, Adhita. Faked a three, pass to the corner again. A jump shot there is no good for NKU on the far side. Rebound picked up by Jovic. Over the timeline, middle of the floor, passes left wing. Isaiah Coleman lands first touch of the game. Dane Grant back to the left side. Savandi top of the key now. Dishes back to the left wing for Coleman Lands. Dane Grant top of the key now. Right wing Savandi outside the arc. 10 to shoot for him. He's working there on Tyler Sharp. Back top of the key. Standing on the M. Isaiah Coleman Lands. Near side feed. Grant behind the back. Dribble. A jumper there. Too hard. It was an air ball. Or it didn't hit the rim, rather. It went off the glass. Now NKU back the other way. Dish to the right wing. 
And we get a blocking foul here on the Red Hawks as they were looking to go to the corner for a three-pointer from Adam Alita. Instead, NKU an inbound here. Still seeing too much iso ball on their end. They just got to keep moving the ball, get, do the things that got them to these 10 points early on. Pass right inside the paint, holding the ball hard. Has to pass it out to avoid a violation. As Bryson Langdon now for NKU drives down the left wing. Had room on Grant, now dishes back. Top of the key three, Walton too hard. Picked up there by Coleman Lands for a feed across the line for Jovic. Now behind the back, Coleman Lands came into the arc on the left wing. Looking for a long pass cross court for Dede Grant. He made it. Grant had to go out of his way to catch that. Red Hawks with the ball inside. Jovic wide open jumper right side. Missed it. And is going in there for the rebound. Precious side couldn't. Glove it out from three NKU players. They're back the other way. Right wing three. Here's Alita. Long one. It was too far left. Ball batted out of bounds along the near side. It was out on NKU. Red Hawks will get it with 12.43 to go. A little lackadaisical recovering for the Red Hawks on the defensive end. They're not quite getting back, not quite getting the shot contest that you really want to see. So Delonte Brown here is going to inbound it from the near sideline. Again, 12.43 to go in the first half. Red Hawks still with the 10-8 lead on the north of Northern Kentucky. And a pass in here from Brown to Dede Grant, who takes it across the line for Miami and dishes toward the left wing. Grant gets the ball back, top of the key, charging down the left wing side now. Eye in the paint, trying to get it off the glass. No good. Rebound tipped around to the far side. NKU grabs it. And they're over the line left wing now for Bryson Langdon. Langdon cuts toward the middle of the floor, dishes back, top of the key. Walton now back for Langdon along three. That one missed, offensive rebound though. Sharp gets it out for a three from the near side, and that's good. And NKU takes the lead back 11 to 10. Over the line, Day Day Grant cuts toward the right side for the Red Hawks. Pass to the left wing now, it's Maja White. White to the top of the key, charges down toward the free throw line, little floater off the glass, no good, rebound picked up by NKU, Bryson, or Tyler Sharp rather, the other way, stops at the arc, now they get it to the far corner, here's a three, that one too hard, coming in from Langdon, and now Delonte Brown with the rebound the other way for the Red Hawks. Dishes far side, a catch made by Coleman Lands on the right wing, cross court feed for Day Day Grant, who's patient with it here for the Red Hawks, they have 17 to shoot. Grant with a pass to the free throw line. White dishes out far side. Wide open three. Brown too short. NKU with a rebound. Tipped around. They grab it. Tyler Sharp with a pass to the right wing for Langdon. Hits the brakes at the arc. Dishes cross court. Sharp left side three. Two no good rather from downtown. Rebound though picked up by Alina. He was uncontested there under the hoop. And NKU with a fresh 20 second shot clock here. Langdon down the right wing in the paint. Dishes out far side. Now they get it back up top of the key. Sharp to charge in. Back out for Faulkner, long three for him, good. NKU a four point lead, 14 to 10, 11 minutes to go in the first. NKU is really moving the ball right now. They're getting Miami all out of position, getting exactly the shots that they want. And the Miami Red Hawks are gonna call a timeout with 10.55 to go in the first half. They've lost a lot of the momentum they had earlier on in this game. Red Hawks trail NKU, 14 to 10. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. to go in the first half. Red Hawks just using their final time, or their first timeout rather, of this first half. 
Patrick Eshi and Mike Estelis and Josiah Collins with you here. And the ball moving for NKU right now, killing the Red Hawks, guys. Like I said, it's all it's all about NKU wanting those second chance opportunities, trying to get those offensive boards. You've seen a couple of times where there's been two, three, four white jerseys down there and one black jersey, and then NKU comes away with it. So I think that's not just, that's not so much about strategy as it, as it is about effort. The Red Hawks have to want those rebounds, push that ball up the floor, get that easy transition offense that they've sort of become trademarked for in the early season. Yeah, and they've really gotten out of position early on on defense, and they haven't been able to recover in those defensive sets. As soon as the ball gets tipped out to another NKU player, everybody's out of rotation. They can't get to their spots where they need to be. All right, we'll see how they come out of the timeout here. Nike Sabandi, left wing for the Red Hawks offensive zone. And that's it for Larry, top of the key. Now far side, Coleman Lance, down to six to shoot. Sabandi, top of the key, left wing. Delonte Brown can't get a three off, passes it to the inside, tipped out of bounds by the Red Hawks. Sabandi and Elijah McNamara were under the hoop. Both of them contributed and tipping it out of bounds at the baseline. NKU here will get the turnover. The zone that time really paid off for NKU. So across the floor for them, up the left wing, it's Dantez Walton. Cuts back to the right side. Beg your pardon, that's actually Faulkner down there. They get it to Walton at the free throw line. Here's side for Sharp. A pass down low, tipped away and picked off here by Sabandi. Up the left wing for Miami, to the near side. Larry, wide open three. It was too far left. Rebound came out a bit. NKU grabs it, and they're up the left wing in the offensive zone now. Sharp, pass to the arc. Little give and go there for with Nelson, but it comes behind the timeline. 21 to shoot and they got it over just in time to avoid the violation. Faulkner on the left wing here for NKU. Pass to the near side, Sharp. Back across here for Faulkner. Far side feed for Alita, long three. Too short, rebound picked up NKU. And up the right side for a charge and one. The ball picked up by Walton who makes it. 16 to 10 NKU lead, Walton a chance for a three point play. Van Bowen about to check back into the game for Miami. Hopefully just provided some type of stability down there in the middle for Miami because there has been none so far. Well, they're in since that time where the ball moves so fast. Fred KU, Redux can't even watch it. Dantez Walton at the line now, a 65.4% free throw shooter. And missed it too hard. Rebound picked up by Miami with Sabandi. He gets back here for Larry across the timeline. 9.36 to go in the first. 16 to 10, NKU on top. Larry top of the key, charging toward the right wing. Pass to the far corner. Sabandi made the move in, gets the and one. Nike Sabandi coming in there from the far side. A blocking foul on NKU. Chance for a three point play for him. Nice acrobatic finish there for Sabandi. Speaking of Sabandi, he just moved in to 28th all-time for Miami scoring uh, over the weekend against when he was playing in the Gulf Coast Showcase, so congrats to him on that. Nike Sabandi, the 6'4", 183 junior guard out of Indianapolis. Preseason All-Mac team. A season high 36 minutes in the last game against Wright State, the final game of the Gulf Coast Showcase. Makes the free thrower down to a three-point game again. And the near side of the floor, Bryson Langdon here for NKU. Pass to the near wing, it's Dantez Walton. Waiting here with Brown, now he's gonna fire three off. Missed it, he had a wide open lane, Brown wasn't close enough to him. Now up the left wing, Redox cough up the ball, going down the floor, goes out of bounds on NKU. As that charge up the court for Miami was messed up very early on, they couldn't get possession of the ball, and luckily a good break there as it went out on NKU. Yeah, transition plays have not come together but like for Miami how they wanted to so far. They really have to clean that up, focus on getting a sharper pass out. Left wing Sabani for Miami, back top of the key. Free throw line, charges in, little floater too short from the paint, fired off the Mac logo. NKU the rebound, they're up the right wing. Bryson Langdon cuts toward the middle, pass to the far side, nice bouncer. Up the left wing now, it's Bryant Mockaby in the game here for NKU. Dantes Walton to the near side for Faulkner. Far side pass in the left wing, little give and go with that Hickey, a three fired off by Faulkner, no good. Rebound picked up by Miami, Larry across timeline, middle of the floor, dishes left wing, Coleman Lance fires off a three, that one too hard and went in and out. NKU the rebound here, here comes Bryson Langdon up the right wing. 8.23 to go in the first, three point NKU lead. Pass to the far side, Faulkner, little give and go with Mockaby and they traveled on the exchange there. Mockaby just got the ball, took a step too many, coming up the floor. 16-13 NKU, 8-19 to go in the first. 
it's, it's a good sign that they're still close enough in this game. It's 16-13 to 13 right now, so Miami's still within striking distance to take the lead back that they had early on. But they just have to focus on getting a good offensive set in here. Larry top of the key, dish pack for Delonte Brown. Had it up high, charged down the left side of the paint, flipped it over the backboard, but a foul whistle here as he was coming in on Trayvon Faulkner. Larry a bit shaken up, but gets up near the baseline. And I believe they're gonna get free throws here to Delonte Brown for his second trip to the line in the game. Yeah, on these drives, they're getting good contact, forcing AKU to either try and make the block or foul them, so it's a good job by them on that part. Brown three for three in the free throw department today. Made three after he was fouled shooting a three-pointer early in the game. Makes that one there to make it a two-point NKU lead. Dante Brown starting today for the Red Hawks, coming in averaging 13.6 points per game. 14 fouls now for NKU as Brown fires the second free throw, and that's good. And we're down to a one-point NKU lead, 16-15, 8.05 to go in the first. Here comes Bryson Langdon for NKU up across the timeline right wing. Dishes off here for Sharp. Now it's at Higi back of the game for NKU on the right side. Get it outside the arc. It's Mockaby. He waits there on Coleman lands. Mockaby top of the key. Now it's Dantes Walton down the left wing. Spin move gets it up. No good. A foul though is going to be on Brown. As an athletic spin move there from Walton coming down the left edge of the paint. We'll get two free throw tries when we come back. 7.46 to go in the first half. NKU 16, Miami 15. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. to go in half number one. Miami trailing NKU by a score of 16 to 15 here in the first half. Rocks in a 5-0 run in the last minute, 58. Keeping it close here in this one, guys. Absolutely, yeah. I I think think Miami has forced their way back in this game through their athleticism alone. You see guys like Brown and Samandi going to the basket, either getting fouled or getting layups. that's something, especially Nike Samandi, I don't think I have seen anyone yet who is quick enough to beat him defensively off the dribble. And I think he can get those opportunities at the net anytime he wants if he realizes his own potential. Free throw here coming from NKU, the first of two from Dantes Walton, and he misses the first one. Only a 65.4% free throw shooter coming into this game. And the second one missed short too, so an 0 for 2 trip to the line for Walton. They tie up for the rebound after the second free throw, a jump ball whistle. That's the third of the game. Red Hawks this time with a possession arrow, and they'll get it back with 7.44 to go in the first. I mean, but it's like Mike brought up originally. I mean, you see that there's three white jerseys around the <laughs> ball, and somehow an NKU guy just gets up in there and forces a jump ball when there should have been no contest there. 
Top of the key here, it's Isaiah Coleman lands. Trailing toward the left wing for Miami. Now back to the top of the key, free throw line. Pass far side, Delonte Brown off the glass. It held there for a second, but couldn't drop through. Got a nice shot off, and NKU up the right wing back the other way. Bryson Langdon hits the brakes with Larry. That's been the matchup so far today, and Langdon's won it, I think, so far. Sharp here on the right wing for NKU, down to 14 to shoot. He's outside the arc, takes it back to the sideline. He's matched up with Sabani. Sharp top of the key, pass to the far side. Langdon trying to make a move in. It's an offensive foul on, my, or on NKU, rather, as Bowman and Larry were there to defend, and Langdon came in too hard. In these last seven minutes for the half, you want to see Miami really just kind of get back to what they were doing early on. A lot of ball movement, a lot of cuts, getting easy opportunities and easy shots. Not a lot of what they've been doing, which is a more ISO ball type oriented basketball. Rex here with the ball on the left wing. It's Sabandi trying to move top of the key. It's the Red Hawks set a screen. Off far side, Coleman lands, long three. Missed too far right. Bowman tips around the rebound. He grabs it at the baseline. Bam, Bowman now. Gets it back out for Delonte Brown, trying to go back up for Larry. They got the ball even though the pass was tipped. And Sabandi comes in from the middle of the paint, and it's an offensive foul on him. He knocked over at Hickey on the charge in. The basket wasn't going in anyway, and NKU gets it back with 6.38 to go in the first, up by one. NKU really going to try and key on that. They see Brown and Sabandi really starting to be a lot more aggressive on the offensive end, so they're going to have somebody right there ready, waiting outside the key. And Hickey, the inbound here, will go right to Langdon. Larry defends him, Langdon takes it across the timeline, right wing for NKU. On the M at half court here at Millette Hall. Langdon now down the right wing, hits the brakes at the arc, back toward the middle, now at the free throw line, dish to the far side, little step move there, a stutter step by Trayvon Faulkner, but he took a step in the process. Matched up with Sabandia, travel is there on NKU. Miami gets it back here with 6.21 to go in the first. They put Jovic back in there. We'll see if that might be able to spread the floor a little bit more. Big man back under the hoop for the Red Hawks. It's 6'4", 198. Top of the key, Larry. Dish to the left wing. Outside the arc, Brown. Now into the near corner. Inside the arc, it's Bowman. Back for Brown for a three. And that one in and out from the left side. NKU will get it back over the line left side. Here's Trayvon Faulkner. Hit the brakes at the arc. Top of the key, it is Dantes Walton. Back to the near side for Langdon, who takes a step back toward half court. Langton now up the left wing of the floor, back for Ed Hickey. Now on the right wing, Sharp. Down low, it's a three from Walton. That's good, nothing but net for Dantes Walton. He's up to 10 points in the game, 19-15, NKU on top. Kai Leary over the line, gives it back to the far side. This is Sabandi. And up top, it's Larry who trails toward the left wing and cuts back to the right. Pull up jumper here for Larry, he's good. From the free throw line, a little bit behind it actually. Kai Larry makes it a two-point game, 19-17, NKU leads it. Over the line, left side, it's Langdon. Down the left sideline from the Red Hawks bench, now at the free throw line, took a tour of the zone. Back to Sharp, outside the arc. Stutter step move on Jovic, Sharp left side from the paint, got a floater up with the left hand, that's good. Four-point NKU lead now at 21-17, five minutes to go in the first. Pass to the left wing, here's Nike Sabani, top of the key. Dishes it right wing for Larry. Inside the arc, the charge. One against two. Bowman wide open. Gets it off the glass and in from the left side. Back to a two-point lead for NKU. 21-19 on top with 4.43 to go in the first. Nice power dribble and strong finish for Bowman that time. Over the line, right side. Bryson Langdon for NKU. Inside of the free throw line, and Hickey takes it back top of the key, and the NKU offense sets up. Pass to the far side. Langdon on the left wing. Back toward the middle. A step back there on Larry. Far side, Dantes Walton to the near side for Langdon. Stutter step move on Larry. Back outside, top of the key. Five to shoot. Faulkner dishes back. Yadhiki, a last second charge. will put it in. Up and under on Bam Bowman, who didn't defend that one very well. 4-10 to go in the first. 23-19, NKU leads it. You saw Jack Owens that time. You saw like Bowman stay closer to the baseline. That time he drifted all the way up to the free throw line, allowing that play to even happen. Far side, it's Nike Sabani with a ball for the Red Hawks offensive end. One against two. Now he gets relief to the near side for Larry. Pass down low. Bowman tipped it up in the air. NKU will get it back. As they come back to the near side of the floor, Walton long three missed it. Took a bounce and grabbing the rebound there was Sabani who's up the right wing over the line for the Red Hawks. Nike Sabani charges back on the defender. A jumper there, no good on a fade away from the far side. NKU grabs the rebound here. A fast moving first half. Three and a half minutes left in it. 
And over the line right wing is Bryson Langdon here for the Norse. Langdon back top of the key. Silas Adhiki waits, bent over. He's trying to run this clock down, pass to the far side. Sharp, quick touch and a three. He was fouled behind the line. Actually, they're going to say as Sabani came in on him defensively, and the foul actually going to be on Tyler Sharp. Yeah, that time he did the leg kick out that you see a okay. lot of shooters trying to do now, and that's an offensive foul now. You can't kick your leg out trying to draw the contact into the defender. So that was the foul on NKU, and they lead it by a score of 23 to 19 with 3.19 to go here in half number one. Red Hawks trail by four. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. to go in the first half. Red Hawks trail by four. Northern Kentucky 23-19. They're one for eight in their last three pointers. Miami are, and that's been such a critical part of the offense early on in this year. Well, yeah, and that's how they're trying to beat the zone defense that Josiah pointed out. They're just trying to chuck up the threes and beat them from downtown. And they're, uh, Miami's not a bad shooting team uh, throughout the first uh, eight games of the season. They're shooting 34.8% as a team from beyond. But you got to realize when it's not falling, it's not falling. You, and you have to move the ball. You have to make that extra pass and try to find the open man. Patrick Eschen, Mike Gustelis, and Josiah Collins with you here from Millette Hall. Delonte Brown had the ball inside the paint, trying to charge up the left side for the Red Hawks. But he was fouled in the process, and it'll be trip number three to the line for Delonte Brown in the game. Never mind, they're going to inbound it instead as Larry heads to the near side of the baseline. That is the sixth team foul on NKU. Pass to the top of the key, Nike Sabandi to the left wing here, Delonte Brown outside the arc. Pass inside, Jovic open for a second, coughed up the ball, NKU will grab it from him just like that. That's how, Go that's how Jack Owens, he was showing a lot of visible frustration because Jovic, he had the perfect cut, he had a wide open layup, but he dribbled too much. Just put this ball up as soon as you get it on that cut there. So NKU will get it top the key, Adrian Nelson to the near side for Traymond Faulkner, right side of the paint, makes a nice move on Larry and able to get the shot up and good with the left arm. And it's now a 25-19 lead for the Norse. I think Larry may have gotten something in the eye on that last defensive effort. Yeah, he keeps wiping around his eye. Larry with the ball now top of the key inside the free throw line. Cut through two defenders, a shot no good on a floater. They're just not dropping tonight for the Red Hawks. Over the line left side, Draymond Faulkner. When that happens, that, that's when your defense becomes the most critical part of your game. If you're not scoring the ball, you have to make sure that you're holding the other team to nothing. And exactly. that was a good example of that right there. Trayvon Fokker charging down the left wing, knocked back the defender. That was Makai Larry, and now he's pretty shaken up, standing at the arc on the far wing for Miami, able to get himself up on his own power. But Makai Larry, unable to walk right now, he drops right back down. And they'll stop the game here for a bit of an injury timeout. Larry now with help from the trainer able to stand up, but he's not putting any weight right now on his right foot, it looks like. Maybe rolled his ankle or something. Yeah, it looks like on that push off when he stepped backward, his ankle kind of buckled on him and gave out. So Larry out of the game, they'll make the substitution. Dana Grant in for the Red Hawks. Top of the key, Milos Jovic on the offensive end of the floor. Dishes for Grant outside the arc on the left wing. Two minutes to go in the first half. 
Grant inside the arc, the pass back to Vandy, coughed it up at the timeline, now has to race back over the floor with it, he stole away from Sharp. Savani back inside the arc, now outside, the ball coughed up, still has it, and now a foul against NKU. Adam Alina will be whistled, and that's not a good foul you want to take for NKU. The Red Hawks nearly giving up the ball at least five times in that last sequence. Things getting a little bit tight down there with 15 and Sabandi. That being Tyler Sharp, number 15 for NKU. So Sabandi now is going to shoot free throws. This is the eighth team foul against NKU. Take a look at head coach Darren Horn on the bench for NKU. He is quite unhappy that his team has given up this many trips to the free throw line. Sabandi's free throw missed on the one and one opportunity and a pass to the near side for Langdon as NKU got the rebound. 142 to go here in the first half. Bryson Langdon pass to the top of the key. Adrian Nelson now for NKU. Back far side, long three sharp, missed it. Went off the rim and NKU will get the rebound back. Nelson at the free throw line, dish far side, wide open three, Mockaby too hard. Another offensive rebound though. Nelson to Mockaby, left wing jumper is good for him. And NKU there on the third try will put it in two points and take a seven point lead on the Red Hawks. Eight point lead. Too many offensive rebounds, but I mean, needs to get a stop. He needs to get a bucket for themselves for once. 6 0 run in the last three and a half minutes for NKU. Their crowd's going nuts. Sabani to the left wing. Brown attempts it three. He'll do that and put it in for Miami, and that'll settle the crowd here. 53 seconds to go in the first half. 27 22. The Norse lead it. Over the line on the left wing, Langdon will hit the brakes just over the timeline. He's paired up now with Dane Grant. Langdon with a slow dribble, 15 to shoot. Down the right wing for NKU, back up top of the key, it's Walton. Down the left side of the paint, spin move, and the foul in one. Delonte Brown will be whistled as Dantes Walton. A beautiful 360 move to the right hand, off the glass and in. 29-22, NKU leads it, a chance for a three-point play for Dantes Walton. Miami looks a little bit lost right now. The Jackals are gonna have to settle them down at halftime, really talk to them, see what's going on with them offensively and defensively. See right now the momentum swings are just too much for the Red Hawks when NKU will get one. Dantes Walton here will shoot the free throw to try to complete the three point play. If he makes it, it will be an eight point NKU lead. And that one is missed. So it remains a seven point NKU lead. 29-22, a half minute left here in the first half. And Red Hawks here are gonna have to shoot one as the shot clock about six seconds ahead of the game clock. Dana Grant will wait at half court, dribbling between the left and right arm in front of him. Down to 10 to shoot for the Red Hawks. As Miami offense gets in motion here. Give and go to the near side with Coleman Lance. Grant, long three downtown. Missed it too far left. Shot clock turns off. NKU the rebound. Nelson to Langdon over the timeline. Left wing with four seconds to go. Langdon pass to the far side. Sharp dancing around the defender. They'll get one off at the buzzer for three. It's too short from Dantes Walton. And we've hit halftime here, NKU 29, Miami 22, your score after 20 minutes from Millette Hall. Red Hawks are hanging with the Norse right now, boys, but the momentum swings are in favor of NKU, and the Red Hawks outside the arc just can't get anything going right now. Yeah, I mean, just like you said, the momentum swings, ever since the, you know, the beginning of the half when Miami really came out with a lot of energy from there on, it was NKU's ball game. They got whatever they wanted offensively and defensively. They really were forcing Miami to do things they didn't want to do. And a lot of that effort comes from the effort that we talked about a couple of times on the boards. Currently, NKU out rebounding Miami 24 to 14. They have Walton and Ed Hickey both with five rebounds apiece. Uh, the leading rebounders for the Red Hawks are Mikai Larry, who's five foot eight, and then Nike Sabandi, who averages about six a game. So. Again, you want to see those white jerseys swarm the ball. Kind of like in football, how they do like team tackling. You yep. want to have team rebounding. You want to make sure that you get the ball and you push it down the court. So what does Miami do here to come back from the seven point deficit and have a chance to win this game in the second half? We'll start with you, Josiah. You know, I think it's really simple. You know, just don't overcomplicate it. Get back to what you were doing early on in the game. Early on in the game, Miami, they got out to a lead. They, they had momentum going their way. They were getting the shots that they wanted. They were getting, on defense, they were getting them. It's a situation they didn't want to be in. So. I think if you continue that, settle back down, don't force anything when you come out in the second half and really just play your style of game. Right now they're playing NKU style and it's not working out for them. Sort of going off of that, you have to stick with the hot man right now and the hot man is Delonte Brown. 
He's gotten five opportunities at the line. He's made all five of those. He's three of six in the field, and he's two of four from beyond, and he leads the team with 13 points. So I need, I want to see him sort of being forced the ball. Uh, hopefully, if we see Mikhail Larry come back, I'd like to see him healthy, and we all would, hopefully. Um, but I want to see him get the ball a little bit more in the paint, try to get him perhaps on some of those downhill, those downhill cuts there. Get him some easy, easy buckets uh, right at the basket, or maybe even force him back to the free throw line. So, all right, well, we'll see what happens here. About a 13-minute break until our second half begins here from Millette Hall, NKU 29, Miami 22, and we'll be back with the second. Hang with us about 12 minutes or so, and we'll be back with half number two. Miami trails by seven at the half. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick Gishin, Mike Gustalise, Josiah Collins back with you here to start the second half of action between the Northern Kentucky Norths and the Miami Redhawks. 29-22, your score, Northern Kentucky on top as we wind down halftime here and crowd pretty good tonight at Billette Hall. Guys, we'll talk about it again. What does Miami need to do here in this second half to get a victory possibly tonight? You know, I think they just really need to wake up on both sides of the ball. They came out, they played. They started the game well. They started with a lot of energy, but then after that, they just fell flat. They didn't have a lot of energy, and they need to really flip that switch in the second half. Uh, we talked about the shooting a little bit. Maybe try and just get some better shots. Get yourself into a rhythm first. Then you can look to the outside shots, and that usually can get you going. Yeah, and you definitely want to have your bigger guys, Delonte Brown, Bam Bowman. You want to see them work a little bit more on the block, get close shots, easy shots. All right. We begin this second half with the Red Hawks one for four in their last four field goals, but the more important story, one for nine in their last nine three-point attempts. The team coming in 50th in the nation and made three-pointers this season. NKU also struggling behind the arc there, one for seven in their last seven three-pointers. It's really been a game of who could get the rebound and who could control the ball better under the hoop. Yeah, and we see Mikai Larry back out there too after he went down with that ankle injury. So watching his mobility a little bit. He came out a little bit still limping, so we'll see how that goes throughout the rest of the game. He's getting a little bit of wrap on that left leg, it looks like. Very good news for the Red Hawks. Mikai Larry, who was made, put on the All Mac freshman team last year, 5'8, 140 sophomore out of Evansville, Indiana, averaging 17.8 minutes per game this season, contributing 7.9 points per game which is up there on the team. So then about here coming from the near side from Northern Kentucky, it's Bryson Langdon who catches it and takes it across the timeline on the right wing. Again, a 29-22 lead for the visiting Norse. Here from Alet Hall in Oxford tonight. Glad you're with us. Silas Adhiki on the right wing, handed off for Sharp in the paint. Near side, it was Walton who gets it back for Langdon, left side of the floor. Walton catches the high pass, 10 to shoot. Charges toward the paint, trying to pass it along the ground, but it was picked up here by Sabandi. Coming up the floor on the left wing, he ran into Sharp, and the foul will be on Sharp, who is standing right on the timeline here for NKU. It'll be their first team foul, 24 seconds into the second half. Darren Horn is not upset about that because he thought that Sabandi lost the ball before the foul occurred. Darren Horn, the NKU head coach in his first season, last year was an associate head coach at Texas with Shaka Smart. Dante Brown, a free throw line jumper, missed for the Red Hawks. And over the line on the right wing comes NKU. Here is Walton, pass to the far side. Bryson Langdon faked a three, back top of the key. Trayvon Faulkner up the left wing, steps outside the arc. He was double teamed, now a wide open three, top of the key, too hard, coming in from Langdon. And we get a foul here for a whistle of something that happened under the hoop. It looks like a foul on the Red Hawks. Ricky Sabani will pick up his second foul of the game. Never mind, it's on NKU, looks like. Right, on, seeing to get control of the ball. I think that was an off ball foul by Walton. Okay. Thought they said Nike Savani, but instead it's Dantes Walton. Rocks with the offensive possession. Savani on the right wing. Makes the charge in, dribble between what the legs, feed pass. right in front for Bam Bowman, who finishes it off pretty easily, and now down to a five point NKU lead. Nice driving dish right there. You force the other defender to step up, kick it right over the top, easy layup. NKU along the near side of the floor, now down the right wing, charging down the pink at Hickey. Gets it back for Sharp. Down to the left side, Dantes Walton. Made a move in on Delonte Brown. Back up top, Sharp. Down the right wing, off the glass, it in. What a move there by Sharp, a good charge in. Gives NKU the seven point lead back, 18 and a half to go in the second. Jovic cross court pass to the right wing. Brown along three, too short from the right side. And here comes NKU up the floor on the right wing. Bryson Langdon cuts toward the middle. Now back for a wide open three attempt. Walton too hard. Rebound came off the rim for Delonte Brown who dishes for Mecky Larry up the right wing for Miami. Larry hits the brakes just inside the arc. Far side now to the corner. Jovic long three, missed too short. Rebound picked up off the bounce by Dantes Walton. A cross court pass to the left wing for Bryson Langdon. NKU moving right to left across your radio in this half. Miami moving left to right. NKU now with a charge from the far side of the floor in the paint, a pass to the near side from Faulkner looking for Walton. Now back top of the key for Sharp. 12 to shoot for the Norse. Sharp takes it far side, back to the near side, Walton. Left corner three is Faulkner, that one's short. It goes out of bounds here along the baseline. Mecky Larry will grab it for Miami for the inbound. 
17.38 to go in the second half. NKU 31, Miami 24. And the Redhawks now as a team, one for 11 in their last 11 three-point attempts. Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor. Dish to the far side, Sabani left wing. Will make a move on Langdon, get it to the free throw line. Brown, pull up jumper there, good. Delonte Brown using his height to make that shot. And a 6-7 guard will deliver here, 31-26, NKU on top. Langdon up the right wing over the timeline, dish far side, sharp, long three, bounced in and out, rebound to Miami on the left wing. Larry, though, had it stripped away from Sharp, and Sharp got the layup to go, but he was fouled, and so the basket will not count, but Sharp will have two free throws coming at the line as Larry copped it up right in front of his own hoop, Sharp the steal, and he's got two free throws coming. Yeah, Larry's going to come out. His mobility just does not look the same right now. Probably still stemming from that injury before, but he's just not looking right right now. So it will be Tyler Sharp, a 66.7% free throw shooter, makes the first one. He's had a lot of touches tonight for NKU, the 6-0-200 senior guard at a Mountain Washington, Kentucky. Part of the Horizon All Tournament team last year for NKU, averaging 15.3 points per game in their tournament. And makes that shot there on the second free throw to give him a 33-26 lead. An NKU team that comes into this season the defending Horizon League champs. They beat Wright State in the tournament championship last March. Top of the key, a pass from Danny Grant looking for the inside. It got tipped away to NKU. Now a far side three in transition. Alito missed it too short. Rebound to Nike Sabandi here at the hoop. Savani over the line, right wing. Nice dribble there on a move toward the right wing from Langdon. Now a pass to the far side. Grant, long three downtown, missed. As Jovic swoops in to get the offensive rebound. Now Savani charging up the right side of the paint. And an offensive foul against him as he knocked over. That was number 12, Trayvon Faulkner down there. Still not getting the look that they want on the offensive end. Forcing up a lot of threes still. They're not driving the ball. They're not moving the ball that much. And that's this lead's not going to go anywhere until they start doing those things. Second personal foul against Nike Sabandi on the night. Langdon over the line, a right wing. Get tripped up there with Day Day Grant. Regains control and enters the offensive end of the floor for KU. Get it back to the near side, Alita, top of the key. It's Langdon, moving outside the arc. He gets the ball back on the right side on a pass from Alita. Langdon to the free throw line. Bounce pass, three-pointer near side, Alita missed. And Jovic with the rebound under the Miami basket. He's up the right wing here, got inside the arc, a foul whistled against the horse. Langdon was defending him. Bryson Langdon will pick up his second personal foul tonight, it looks like. It's the third team foul against NKU here in this half. As Sabani will inbound from the near baseline for Miami. Finds Day Day Grant up the right wing, gets it up and one. Day Day Grant that time with a nice inbound pass, made a move on a defender, and he's got a chance for a three point play with 16.03 to go in the second. Dane Day Grant averaging 6.6 .6 points per game on the year. Those are his first two of the night. A chance to make it three, NKU 33, Miami 28. I think he's slowly but surely going to find his rhythm throughout the year. He's had a few really good games so far. I think he's going to continue building upon what he's done already. Free throw is good for Day Day Grant, the 6'2", 180 freshman out of Lorain, Ohio. Last year as a senior at Lorain High School, averaged 26.3 points per game. Talk about an offensive player. Yeah, I see no reason why he can't do that here either. A lot of talent for him as a freshman coming in. Over the timeline, here comes NKU. Bryson Langdon handed it back. It was Adrian Nelson out top of the key. One of his first touches of the game. Tyler Sharp, pass to the far wing. Give and go with Langdon. Sharp long three, top of the key. It was an air ball. He missed too far short. It goes out of bounds to the baseline. The Redhawks will get it back when we return with 15.41 to go here in the second half. NKU 33, Miami 29. A barn burner tonight in Oxford. Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick Eschen, Mike Gostelis, and Josiah Collins when they hear from Lett Hall this evening. NKU 33, Miami 29, with 15.41 to go in half number two from Lett Hall this evening. So coming out of the first media timeout of the second half, an inbound coming for the Miami Red Hawks from the far baseline of their own end. It's Delonte Brown to give it off for Day Day Grant, who's across the middle of the floor. Give and go pass with Sabandi. It went past Grant on the return. Too far left of him and a backward violation here against Miami. That's a careless mistake you cannot make in a four-point game. Yeah, just mental error, miscommunication between the two. Grant was about to make a cut, and Sabandi just throws it right behind him for a backcourt. Pass way too far left of Day-Day Grant standing near half court. NKU now with the ball, near side of the floor. Walton to the free throw line, giving it back. Faking the jumper was laying in, back for Walton, charges down the right side of the paint. The pass back as we got a whistle here before that all happened. And I believe it's a foul against Miami as Walton was pushed back and he fell over. Looks like Delonte Brown whistled for the foul and that is going to be his second personal. NKU will have 20 to shoot with 15, 16 to go in a second. That is the third team foul against Miami in the half. Long pass, Kroc to the back of the court. Adrian Nelson able to keep it in for NKU with his tall reach. Gave it off for Langdon, far side feed. Sharp stutter step move on Coleman Lance. Dished down on the left wing. It got past Adrian Nelson, and they say it tipped out of bounds on NKU. Up their baseline, the bench didn't like it as Nelson coughed up the pass on the left wing inside the paint. That time Coleman lands, he really gave the energy on defense, stuck with Sharp all the way through the key, made the defensive play, gave the ball right back to Miami. So now the Red Hawks control the ball on the offensive end of the floor, down by four. Dana Grant top of the key, looking to dish right wing, now he just keeps it, and then we'll go right wing on a give and go with Jovic. Dana Grant controls the ball on top of the key, down the left side, pull up jumper, is good for Dana Grant. He is now up to five points in the game, and it's a two point game here in Oxford. Up the right wing comes NKU, Langdon, the pass back for Andrea Nelson, returns for Alina, and then back up top for Langdon. Bryson Langdon on the M at half court, 15 to shoot, takes it toward the right wing, gave it back for Nelson, wide open behind the arc, will dish it inside for Walton, nice two dribble there, move toward the inside, a right-handed hook shot, good from the paint and the Mac logo. 35-31, NKU leads it, a low scoring game tonight, 14-10 to go in the second half. Yeah, the defense from Miami is keeping them in this game right now. It's the offense that has to catch up. Milos Jovic back for Day Day Grant. Inside the arc on the right wing, then gave it back outside for Coleman Lance. Far side it is Nike Sabandi. Cross court feed. Coleman Lance catches the ball inside the paint. The pass to the far side. It was too low for Precious Eye to get control of. Deflected off his foot out of bounds. NKU will get it back up by four with 13.51 to go in the second. Silas said he will inbound here on the right side for NKU. Bryson Langdon over the right wing on the timeline here for the Norse. Controls the ball still with Dana Grant to Fedium. Now a pass top to key for Silas Adhiki. Back for Langdon. Far side pass and a give and go with Alina. Now they get it to the left wing for Sharp. Dribbling with his left hand, takes a step inside the arc. Little screen play here, Walton wide open drive. Left side of the floor. And it's going to be a blocking foul here as the basket went in for Dantes Walton. Going down was Precious Aya. You can count the basket for Red KU, a three-point play opportunity coming up for the Norse, who lead it 37 to 31 now. And those NKU fans, it might not be that many of them here, but they are definitely <laughs> loud and giving these Miami crowd a run for their money. Maybe been more loud than the Miami crowd at times today, yeah. unfortunately. Free throw coming here for Dantes Walton. He makes it to complete the three-point play. And the Norse now if a 5-0 run in the last minute and 11. They lead it 38-31 on the Red Hawks. 13-22 to go in the second. Pass to the far side on the left wing. It's Nike Sibandi. Back to the right wing for D.D. Grant. They're outside the arc. Top of the key, Aya. A little give and go. Grant thinking about it. Got a screen. Pass to the right wing. Aya trailing down. It's kept in bounds by NKU, but they give it right to the Red Hawks. Far side feed for Coleman Lands. Long three from him. Too hard and too left. Aya try to control the rebound. They get a foul whistled here as he was falling back. An NKU player got their hands in. That was number five, Bryson Langdon. The foul is on him. 
fifth team foul against NKU in the second. And the Redhawks here will earn an inbound with 20 on the shot clock. Even though they got that back, that was still a poorly executed situation right there. You had Jovic wide open in the middle of the paint. They miss him on a pass and settle for a long contested this is three. Dana Grant, red chopper for the Mac logo, no good. Offensive rebound tipped out to Jovic. Gets it outside the arc. Sabani steps back for a jump through three. That's good. Thank you, Sabandi. Now they're only give him two, I guess. He was standing on the line. Hard to tell from up here. 12.40 to go in the second. Five point NKU lead now, 38-33. Langdon far wing, got it top of the key for Adhiki. Waits, dishes left wing on the paint. Coming in Walton down the right wing. He makes it in on a right-handed layup. And NKU now up by seven, 12.25 to go in the second. Dede Grant pass to the left wing here. The pace has picked up a little bit in this stage of the second. Savani on the right wing, dribbling across each arm. We'll take it back top of the key with a pass to Dede Grant. Waiting here with 13 to shoot. Gets to the free throw line, pull up jumper, in and out. A little bit too hard there from Dede Grant. NKU with a rebound and up the right wing with speed is Langdon. Hits the brakes at the arc, dishes back. Walton now a charge on the right side. A pass down low, waiting for it wide. Open under the hoop, Silas Adhiki. 42-33, NKU on top. Precious Eye has to stick with his man there. He can't go out double teaming closer to the free throw line like that. He's Sabani on the right wing. Pass for Coleman lands in the Emmett center. Jovic top of the key. Pass back for Coleman lands right wing. Jovic waiting, hesitating down the middle of the floor. Bounce pass. Aya wide open for the right handed layup and in. 42 35. The Norse lead it. For some, whatever reason, Miami just looks very unsure of themselves in the offensive end. Hesitating a lot, miss dribbling, just stuff like that. They just don't look like they know what they want to do yet. Confidence has been the issue. Sharp down the left wing, inside the arc, gets to the paint. A nice up and under there on the right hand. That's the athleticism that Tyler Sharp brings to this NKU team. 44-35, they've got the lead. Nice up and under there from Tyler Sharp. What, basically one against two under the Miami basket. Nike Sabandi top of the key, offensive end of the floor for the Red Hawks. Dishes right wing for Jovic. Pass to the near side, Danny Grant. Still outside the arc, back top of the key, Coleman Lance. Throw 12 to shoot now for Miami. Sabandi side dribble to the right side, three pointer over the hoop. It was an air ball. Red Hawks keep it in bounds of the far wing. Aya works it out for Jovic. Wide open three with two to shoot. That one missed. We get a whistle here for a foul under the hoop. Going for the rebound, Adam Alina. Was battling with Sabandi. Alina will be fouled. Red Hawks will keep possession of the ball with 10.36 to go in the second when we return. NKU 44, Miami 35, nine point lead for the Norse. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Eschen with Mike Gustelis and Josiah Collins high above the court of Ballet Hall this evening. And one of the things you've noticed, Mike, in particular, NKU winning the battle under the hoop tonight, and that's what's given them the nine-point lead here in the middle stages of the second half. They've controlled the glass all night long. They're outscoring them in the paint. They're outscoring them on second chance opportunities from all those offensive boards they're getting. So, and yeah, it, we, it, we brought it up on a couple of different occasions. And, 
it all comes down to effort. You know, you you have to want the ball more. You have to want the rebounds more. And Miami, when they're when they're alive and well, they're a very capable team. You know, whether it's just standing their ground or blocking shots in the paint. So I think they sort of need to like return to that, return to that effort, return to that defensive mindset that they had when they first came out uh, in the first few home games of this season. So I'd look to see them try to get more hands up. And like we talked about just coming out of the break, we want team rebounding here. They've closed the gap a little bit, but they're still not quite there. All right. So we'll watch for that here as we continue on in this second half. 10.36 left to go in it. Dede Grant on the near baseline. The pass to the right wing for Nike Sabandi. Back for where Coleman lands in the middle of the floor. He traveled in the paint. He got a feed from the outside from Dede Grant. Coleman lands will turn the ball over here for the Red Hawks. In frustration, walking the other way. And get you the inbound. Go ahead. Yeah, Miami trying to set up a press. Go ahead. As uh, the Norse here moving right to left. Across the radio here, approaching the 10 minute mark of the second half. Top of the key, Adrian Nelson has plenty of space. Bam Bowman's five feet in front of him. Nelson will dish to the left wing here for Walton. 10 to shoot, drive down the left wing. Trying to go off the backboard, it was too hard to drop through. NKU on the rebound, four seconds to shoot. Three pointer top of the key missed. Bam Bowman the rebound on the right wing. We'll give it off to the left side now for Sabani who charges up the floor. In over the timeline, Day Day Grant will get the pass. Holds here on the left wing for the Red Hawks outside the arc. At the breaks, top of the key. Pass to the right wing. Here's Coleman Lance. And he tried to get a play started, but when walking in, an offensive foul against the Red Hawks. As Bam Bowen was whistled for something under the hoop to center. Picked up for the Red Hawks. And that will be his first personal of the game. You're going to have to watch turnovers, too, at this point, because if you're Miami, you need every possession you can get. Definitely can't give them away. You have to make the most out of possessions that you have. NKU the ball here down the right wing. They get it back. And a jumper from the free throw line is up and good from Adrian Nelson. Took a bounce off the rim with about three feet in the air and dropped through. 46-35, NKU, an 11-point lead. This is their largest of the game. Sabani top of the key in the dish down low looking for Bowman. It was picked off on its way, but a foul whistle. And this is going to be against the Norse. It will be Adrian Nelson. He will pick up his second personal. Something that happened in the paint. Red Hawks get a fresh shot clock here. 9.21 to go in the second. And Bam Bowman is going to actually shoot free throws here. That's 17 fouls now for NKU. And a single bonus for the Red Hawks. And Bam Bowman this year, a three for seven free throw shooter. An NKU fan messed him up <laughs> as he missed the free throw. You might have heard someone yelling. Those NKU fans are strong tonight. Man. <laughs> Over the middle of the floor, Langdon to the right wing. Pass top of the key, Adrian Nelson. Outside the arc. Dish to the left wing in the paint. This is Dantez Walton. Gave it back for Langdon down the left side for NKU. Back for Walton, wide open three is good. Well, it can't give him many easier opportunities than that. Dantez Walton with a long three-pointer makes it a 49-35 NKU lead, their largest. Game is slipping away right now. Miami needs to make a run. Preferably stop shooting the threes. Tipped around under the NKU hoop to get a rebound after a shot for the near side by Dane Day Grant. NKU up the floor right wing, quick transition. What a pass, Adrian Nelson. Nice layup and in from in front of the hoop. He got a feed from the right wing by Dantez Walton. And Nelson caught it from a behind the back pass from Walton. 8.35 to go in half number two. NKU 51, Miami 35. You might as well play the fight song because it's not looking good for the Red Hawks right now. Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick Eshin, Mike Gustalisio, Cy Collins back with you here at Millette Hall on a Tuesday night. Rock's next games are going to be Saturday. They'll go to Evansville, Indiana, and play Evansville at 2 p.m. start for them this weekend, and back home for a Sunday afternoon game December the 15th against B Missouri Valley, Mississippi Valley State, rather, at 2 p.m. And then Louisville will be the opponent on the road December 18th at 8.30 p.m. 51-35, your score, NKU on top. And boys, what's been going wrong here for the Rock so far? Josiah, we'll start with you. And, I mean, really, they just haven't played up to their abilities. I mean, they play really flat. They're letting the defense, they're letting NKU get whatever they want on offense. We saw their transition. They couldn't even stop anything on that one. Then on the offensive end, they just look lost. They don't look like they know, know, they know what they want to do with the ball. They're mishandling it, mispassing it. They're not hitting the right guy at the right time. They're making, they're taking too many threes. They really need to clean all of that up. I don't think they're getting the ball to the right guy here. This is the point. And Nike Sabandi, we know he wants to go to the NBA. <laughs> this, this is the point in games where he's to be like, you know what? This is my team. This is my floor. You're not going to come here in here and disrespect my team like this. And this is where he should take over games. Couldn't agree with you more, Mike. Is that KU where they pick off here on a pass in the offensive zone for the Red Hawks? A foul whistled on Miami as NKU trying to charge back up the floor with 8.27 to go in the second. The Rock simply just coughing up the ball on the offensive side there. And Dante as Walton will get an inbound feed here for Northern Kentucky on the far side. Bryson Langdon will get a pass, cross timeline left wing, now a pass to the right wing, it's controlled by Trayvon Faulkner. Now a three from the near side, Walton got a pass and he buried it. Rocks up the floor, right wing. Here's Sabani outside the arc. Gets the paint. Pass to the near side. Josh Brewer, his first touch. Attempts at three. Too far right. Offensive rebound, though, for Dane Day Grant. And a whistle here for a foul against NKU as Grant trying to dance around a defender on the left wing. Foul will be against Bryant Mockaby. That'll be his first personal. 54-35. The NKU lead with 8.05 to go in the second. So Dana Grant will shoot one and one here. And this time not messed up by the loud NKU fan in the stands, makes the free throw. I don't know who that guy is, but man, does he have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> Making their presence known here tonight. Of course, probably take him on the road. He rides on the bus because he messes up the <laughs> quiet home crowds for free throws. <laughs> Grant makes the second one. Sure, we'll put a seat on the bus for you as long as you yell. <laughs> NKU here will take the ball up the right wing. Bryson Langdon cuts toward the middle and the left side now. Still with the ball for NKU. Back to the top of the key for Faulkner. Inside of the paint. It's Sharp. Outside the arc. Working on Nike Sabandi. Sharp all over him. Gets it up and good under the hoop. Tyler Sharp took a tour of the offensive zone and won the battle against Nike Sabandi with 7.36 to go in the second. Had some words for him afterwards too. A little bit of chirping going on down there. Grant got inside the arc and fired a jumper from the left wing. Makes it a 56-39 NKU lead, 7.25 to go in the second half. Sharp and Savannah are still talking in the near side corner down there. Oof. Yeah, they've been going at it all night long. Bryson Langdon on the right wing. Top of the key, Faulkner. His man is Dana Grant. He'll get it to the left wing now. Walton dances toward the paint, dish to the far side. Mockaby was blocked, but for a foul, as coming in there was Brewer. And it's about all he could do to stop Bryant Mockaby, who was in full sprint from the far corner to the near side. That's where he was moving toward the basket. And with 7.08 to go here in the second, we'll get another timeout. NKU 56, Miami 39. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
7.08 to go in the second half. NKU 56, Miami 39 from Atlanta Hall in Oxford. Patrick Geshe and Mike Gustelis, Andrew Sai Collins along for the ride with you. And we thank you for joining us on this Tuesday night. So Brian Mockaby will be at the line to shoot two free throws coming out of the break for NKU. And the first one is missed too hard for the 6'5", 200 sophomore out of Derby, Kansas. 18 games last year for the Norse. Those are his first two free throw attempts of the year, so he's now one for two in that department. Made the second one, so it's 57-39 Norse. Rex with the ball on the offensive end of the floor. Larry quarterbacking the offense, gets it to the far corner. Three from Delonte Brown is good. Well, let's see if it's two or three. It's two, he was on the line. So 57-41 NKU on top now. Hard to tell from our vantage point when some of these shots go off if they're two or three. NKU works it up to left wing. Faulkner back up top for Langdon who walks it top of the key. Bryson Langdon now on the far side of the floor. Well, dish back down low, a little give and go with that heat, huh? Back top of the key, here's Trayvon Faulkner, and he will draw a foul as defending him was Brewer. He fell backwards, and Brewer is whistled here for the violation. It'll be his second personal foul of the night. And NKU now has got Miami to 18 fouls, and free throws coming here at the line for Trayvon Faulkner, one of the starters tonight for NKU. In 2018, he was a Mr. Basketball honoree in the state of Kentucky. Out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Miami quickly losing that window of opportunity for them to get back into this game. Their defense only held up for so long. Now the offense really needs to kick it into high gear these last six and a half minutes. See what they can do here. Down 58-41. Faulkner misses the second free throw. And down the right wing, Nike Sabani got stripped of the ball, went right to Larry for a three-pointer, that's good. Lucky bounce that time for Miami. Sabani stripped, went off the hand of Sharp, right to Larry, quick three from the corner. 58-44, NKU leads it. Playing the top of the key for NKU, now to the left wing. The pass to the middle of the floor is picked up by Dantes Walton. To the far side for Alita, back for Walton, top of the key. Down the left wing for NKU, off the glass, and good. Too easy there for Dantes Walton, who got a right-handed shot off from the left wing, off the glass and in. 5.45 to go in the second. Brewer, free throw line jumper, missed too hard. Rebound poked around along the near side. Sabani got it, flails it up toward the hoop, but it was over it from the right side. And then KU back the other way with a pass at the left wing. A stretch pass for Faulkner, came in from Langdon. Faulkner walking inside the arc, then back out. Langdon through center, takes it to the right wing. Back to the left side to get it, a cross-court pass to Alita. Top of the key, controlled by Dantes Walton. Sets up a screen here after giving the ball to Tyler Sharp there. And we get a whistle for a foul as he was trying to come in cross-court along the paint. Red Hawks upended him. With 5.13 to go here in the second, NKU 60, Miami 44. More chance to add some points onto that lead. That's just a foul that you can't really afford to have right now. That was kind of just a frustration foul it looked like from Larry that time. So that will be the ninth team foul against Miami in the second half. And Tyler Sharp will be at the line. They take Dana Grant out of the game for the Red Hawks. Sharps free throw, too hard on the one and one. The rebound though picked up on the right wing by Walton who gets it off the glass and in, too hard. That time for Miami to defend that. It was a bang bang play. Coleman lands top of the key, Red Hawks offensive end of the floor, near side pass. Brown flails off the three, too hard. Offensive rebound, NKU. With less than five minutes to go now in the second half. Up the left wing, Bryson Lane had tripped up over the arc, trying to come down the left wing. And he was able to regain control of the ball on his stomach, and NKU will call a timeout here. They'll use their second of the game with 4.47 to go in the second half. Norse lead at 62-44 over Miami. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
NKU will inbound it from their offensive end. Near side of the baseline, Trayvon Faulkner gets the ball from the referee. Trying to go left wing for a pass. It was picked off, intended for Tyler Sharp, but tipped out of bounds along the near baseline by Sabandi, who's clapping right in Sharp's face. They have been going at it all night long. Be fun if these two teams met again. They won't this year, but if uh, the Sharp Savani battle will be something to watch later on in the year. Sharp on the far side, fouled by Savani outside the arc. And Savani Still kind of turkey. body checked him. Still talking to one another. Him with that Dwayne Wade type uh, type fake there where he just made the other defender get up in the air and just threw his body into him. So sharp here at the line for two free throws as the Red Hawks are up to 10 team fouls now. Makes the first one. 13 points of the night for Tyler Sharp, but that doesn't lead the team. That's only second for NKU. Dantes Walton has 29 tonight for the Norse. I mean, that just kind of goes to show how they really let NKU get whatever they wanted tonight. Just uh, any offensive side they wanted to run, they got the cuts, they got the open looks as they wanted. Miami just couldn't get it going all night. Sharp had three free throws because he was fouled outside the arc, so he made all three. 65-44, NKU leads it. Oh. Red Hawks here will control the ball on the left wing and then cough it up far baseline. It was taken over on the ground by Adrian Nelson, but a pass to the middle was stolen away by Brown, but before all that happened, a foul called here for a kickball in the Norse. That was a frenzied sequence along the far side of the floor. Actually, the kickball against Miami, the Norse will inbound here on, from their own end with 4.31 to go in the second. Pass to the left wing for Langdon, a little give and go that time with Walton, and they get it up the right wing. Tyler Sharp, cross court pass to the near side, Bryson Langdon takes it to the M at half court, and we'll wait for the time to run down here. That's gonna be the strategy for Red KU moving forward. Yeah, definite time to just slow the game down, burn the clock, get out of here with a W for them. Walton down the right wing in the paint, gets it in one. Yeah. He was fouled by Jovic with 4.09 to go in the second. NKU another three-point opportunity, 67-44, they lead it. Yeah, just compounding mistake after mistake, just too much for Miami to overcome tonight. Snore's team, like you said, Mike, they've just commanded the floor early on in the game, but most especially here in the second half. Free throw missed too far right by Walton. He's up to 31 now tonight. Coleman lands top the key for Miami, dishes right side. Larry to the paint, Brewer, far side now, outside the arc, long three from downtown, missed by Coleman lands. Rebound tipped around to the Norse. Over the timeline, right wing, it's Dantes Walton. Pass back, little handoff to Bryson Langdon. Down to 3.43 to go in the second. Langdon working on Larry. Will step back from the arc in the right wing, then take it back in. Pass to the far side, outside Sharp, makes the move in on Larry, trying to go up and under with the left hand, Larry stripped him. Ball came loose, picked up here, and it will be a foul whistled against someone. Sharp probably that time got a push in the back on Larry. So NKU will get pick up the foul and we'll get our final media timeout of the game. 3.31 to go in the second, NKU 67, Miami 44, Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Three minutes, 31 seconds left in the second half for Botsford. Northern Kentucky 67, Miami 44, your score. Patrick Eschen, Mike Gustelis, and Josiah Collins with you here. Some fans starting to head for the exits as they're starting to see a Miami loss coming tonight. I'd say a fairly low attended game for the fact that they're playing a, a local rival like NKU. Yeah, NKU, they really travel well tonight. They just <laughs> overpowered the even Miami home crowd that was pretty much silent for most of the night. It's true. This is going to be the second time in a row where a, North, where a Horizon League big man has just absolutely taken Miami to school. Last time when Wright State came into Millette Hall, you had Loud and Love who had that big double-double. This time it's going to be Walton for North Carolina, uh, North Dakota, Kentucky, excuse me. He's going to have his second 30-point game in a row. Walton an assist here as he played it down low for Adrian Nelson in transition. Nelson a touch and went off the glass and hit for two. Rux now the chance, free throw line jumper good there from Josh Brewer. So now a 69-48 lead for the Norse. Down to three minutes to go here in the second. Rox a very aggressive full court press. NKU gets it up the left wing. Walton one against three, wide open space. He was trying to go up for a dunk there with a the right hand, but instead fouled by Jovic. Try and putting Brown on a poster that time. <laughs> Man. The Rux had three men on the defensive side of the floor, but Walton still had a wide open lane to the basket all the way down the left wing. Delonte Brown will get his fourth personal foul on that one. It was actually him that did it, not Jovic. And the first free throw of two is good by Dantes Walton. And I got to say, I'm not sure how I feel about the press that they're running right now. It's kind of like a spaced out, like, three-man front and then two guys trailing off in the back, and that's not necessarily like a good look, especially once they break that press. It just leaves nobody back to defend. Second free throw missed. Delonte Brown on the left wing for Miami. The pass to the near side for Coleman Lands. Returns back for Larry. Charged down the left wing. Back outside the arc. Brewer along three. That's good. And Josh Brewer up to five points in the game. Now one for two outside the arc. And KU here will have the inbound. Pass to the near side, it's complete. That was Bryson Langdon over the timeline on the left wing. Hits the brakes inside the arc, takes it back out. And he stands on the Emmett center now, dribbling the ball with 18 to shoot. Langdon down the right wing, pass to the near side. Long three coming in, too far short from Walton. Long rebound picked up by Coleman Lands. They're in transition the other way. Bounce pass along the floor. Blonte Brown can't pick it up. Coleman Lands came in for a try, he gets fouled is on his stomach defending that to poke it away. It was Adrian Nelson for NKU. That's no. just kind of a prime example of what's gone wrong for them tonight. That should have been an easy two points for them, but just lack of days ago coming back in transition leads to this situation. Nelson grabs the foul. It's his third personal with 2.08 to go in the second half. If you look on the bright side, Rex have a 5-1 run in the last minute 14. <laughs> Maybe the best stretch they've had since the beginning of the first half. Say. So there will be free throws coming here for Coleman Lands. They call this a flagrant? I guess so. As he is standing all alone at the free throw line, he makes the first one. All the players have been corralled to the other side of the floor from where the free throws are happening. So now they'll bring everybody back into the free throw line with free toss number two coming up. Maybe a technical was called there. Yeah, he's shooting two at the line, so I'm assuming that technical was called on somebody. Gave Lance the one free throw shot. We didn't really get any definite single or signal. We're up in a press box on the roof of Millette Hall, so kind of hard to tell. Yeah, stuck us in the attic for this one. <laughs> so now he's going to shoot three at the line as Coleman Lands made the second one. And it'll go three for three on the trip for Isaiah Coleman Lands, who came in eight for nine in the free throw department on the year. 70-54 your score, NKU on top over Miami, 208 left in the second. Long toss ahead, it's caught at half court on the inbound for NKU and they get it to the left wing, Langdon. Goes over the timeline for the Norse, two minutes to go now in the second. Langdon tripling with the left arm in the Emmett center, spin around move to the right wing, coughed up the ball, regained control, Coleman Lance came in there trying to tie him up and it will be a foul against number four in white, Isaiah Coleman Lance will pick up Another one for the Red Hawks. That's going to be his second personal of the game. 
And so two free throws coming here for Bryson Langdon. First one's good. Langdon transferred. He played at Arizona Western last year. 5'9", 160, sophomore guard out of Chicago. That's 16.3 points per game last year in the desert. Second free throw is good for Bryson Langdon. That'll be his second point of the night. Pass to the far side. They get it into the free throw line now. Brewer jumper in and out. Gaming down with a rebound there as NKU. Goes up the left wing. Comes Bryson Langdon with the ball. Jumps over the timeline just in time. Pass top of the key. Adrian Nelson. To the right wing. They gave it off for Dantes Walton. Now Nelson with the room, high in the zone. We'll give it back for Sharp at the top of the key here for NKU. Seven to shoot, Sharp in the paint. Middle of it, little floater with the left arm is good for Tyler Sharp, and now he's up to 18 points in the game. NKU fans are in full celebration mode right now, chanting, doing whatever they want here, making this their home. Far side three is missed there by Coleman Lands. Rebound picked up by Larry on the right wing. A jumper is in and out from 12 feet and a tie up under the hoop. Larry's in there with number 12, Trayvon Faulkner. Possession arrow favors Miami at the moment with 59.4 seconds to go in the second half. NKU leading at 74 to 54. Delonte Brown is out of the game for the Red Hawks, but more importantly, Dantes Walton out for NKU and he exits with a standing ovation from the visiting crowd. Dantes Walton, 32 points, four for nine from outside the arc, four assists today for the Norse. That's efficient right there, 13 of 20, 32 points in 36 minutes, my goodness. Sharp comes out for NKU as well, and so does Faulkner. Miami well, clears the bench. Yep. They will bring in two men for the first time today. Benjamin Litkin comes off the bench for Miami, so does Michael Ritchie. With less than a minute to go in the second. KU one more substitution before play starts. Bryson Langdon will end his night. So Litkin will have the inbound. Hard bounce pass to the near side. Coleman Lance picks it up, takes it up top. Now a pass to the far side. Richie coming in from outside the arc. Got it off the glass, no good. NKU the rebound. As a pass here comes back for the quarterback of the offense. That would be number three, Trey Cobbs, with his first touch of the night. Pass top of the key, Adrian Nelson waits for the Norse. Down to 15 to shoot, 36 on the game clock. Trey Cobbs near side, back top of the key. Paul Yoko on the far side, back up top for Trey Cobbs. Down the left side, he got up at it there by Litkin, who goes crashing into the cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be a foul on Litkin, his first personal, and going to the line for two is Trey Cobbs, who's two for four on the year in free throws. A redshirt junior out of Lima, Ohio. He's making his third appearance of the year, the last against UC Claremont. First one takes a bounce up and it goes through for Trey Cobbs. He's only made two appearances this year, but is averaging five points per game. Second free throw, good. And you know it's been a disappointing game when the school band just looks depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Coleman lands dish to the left wing. As catching that was Maya White for the Red Hawks. Coleman lands near side, shot clock is off, 10 seconds left. Coming in, Richie hits the brakes at the line, then hands it back for Litkin. Long three missed too far right, Ed KU the rebound, one second to go, that does it. Northern Kentucky Norse come into Miami. They lead it by a score of, or they win it by a score of 76 to 54 over the Miami Red Hawks. Northern Kentucky Norse improved to six and three overall on the year. Miami Red Hawks fall to four and four overall on the year. And your final impressions tonight, boys, as the Red Hawks fall tonight to the NKU Norse at home. Mike, we'll start with you. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta rebound from this game. You gotta look ahead in your schedule and kind of kind of wash this bad taste out of your mouth almost immediately because um, you have a after because after their next game they have a super tough opponent currently number one in the nation louisville and they're going to be playing them in louisville kentucky so 
you have to use your next game as a rebound game and just sort of get your back get yourself back in that winning mindset. Yes, sir. Uh, just go to practice, reset, get yourself ready for Saturday, move on from this game. You can't really do anything else about it. You played poorly tonight. There's really no other excuse for it. NKU, they came in, outplayed you in every facet of the game. So make sure that that just doesn't happen again on Saturday when you go to Evansville. You just have to make sure you reset, get back to what you do best. And that is the Red Hawks next game. They hit the road to play Evansville at 2 p.m. on Saturday. And they're back home on next time, December 15th. MVSU, the opponent, 2 p.m. start for Miami, who again, 4-4 four and four overall on the year. And now a three-game losing streak for the Red Hawks here early on. Northern Kentucky improves to 6-3 overall. They play next December 8th, that's Sunday night, against Eastern Kentucky University back at home in the BB&T Arena, a 7 p.m. tip for the Norse. So that'll wrap it up here tonight from the Lead Hall. For Josiah Collins and Mike Gustelis, this is Patrick Eschen saying so long and good night from the Lead. 76-54, NKU over Miami on the men's side tonight. It's been a presentation of Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Have a great night, and thanks for listening.